Hello folks, working on the boat project. Um, I did the hull with duct tape. That's, this is just a temporary, well it's, it's going to have a, a, um, uh, a fiberglass coat put onto it, but the duct tape is just to basically give it to shape to stop from leaks and stuff. Then I'm going to coat this with fiberglass or something similar to fiberglass I'm getting at the hobby shop. Right now I'm water. T I'm making the bulk kits more waterproof. Uh, I'm using paint, and what the paint's going to do, like I'm thickening around the paint where the part where you know the cardboard bulk kits is and stuff. This is just to you know so every leaks and whatever. It's not like this is going to actually be intentionally flooded. The idea with this here boat is I want this boat to be basically powered by solar power. So I'm going to have maybe some solar panels on the top deck. And I'm going to kind of have them sort of in place that way. Uh, you know, the top deck does get solar panel. And then it has like an infinite supply of power. Or at least as long as, you know, you plan to, like, plan to sail it. So that way I don't run into problems where I run out of power. I know this is probably a kind of a weird way to do this, but I'm just wasting the, the paint. But I just want to make sure that these bulkheads are, or especially this one, is completely watertight. And then what I'm going to do is go with some fiberglass style. Well, I can get like fiberglass cloth. It's kind of for model ships and stuff. I used it before. I actually do have some fiberglass, but it's not here at the house. So I'm just sort of, you know, I'm just kind of like making the bulkhead. It's not that the bulkhead's gonna really, you know, it, it, the thing sinks, the thing sinks. But where this boat's kind of be a little bit on the expensive side, I kind of want to have it so it lasts a little bit. So we want it to, uh, to do good. I mean, it's a nice boat. It's taken a while to build. And of course, you know, you know, just green. Green's kind of a cool color anyway for the interior. Uh, this boat here is gonna have. It's gonna be like a little schooner sort of thing. So it's gonna have an upper deck. It's gonna have lighting. I'm I'm gonna have it so it lights up which is going to be on a complete cir separate circuit. It's all going to be LED lighting. And, you know, just taping the inside of the duct tape so that way the source stays a little better. The good thing is about model boats is I find, you know, you can you can put a slot, but this is going to be it's going to be re RC, so it's going to be remote control. And remote control units are about a hundred bucks. I mean, just, just the gears. It's gonna it's gonna be sailed. This thing is going to be practically. Uh, it's gonna be a sailboat. So, but it will have a motor. And a. Uh, and the motor is going to basically be used to, uh, more or less for like parts where the wind you know, reaches its limit, because, you know, like all sailboats, uh, you can only go certain directions, and, I mean, you want to be, when you sail these things, you want to be careful of what direction your wind is, and you want to sail downwind. Because, uh, you know, if you sail against the wind, you're kind of not going to go anywhere, so sailing downwind's the best. Or sailing crosswind. I find sailing crosswind's pretty good. And the thing is, you don't want it to be too heavy, but then you don't want it to be too light. Because the boat will tip. And if it tips, she floods. So that's with the high sides. And uh, there's going to be at least a little bit of leeway, especially along the sides here, where if it does tip, it's not going to flood right away. I mean, it will unless it completely capsizes. But even if it does capsize, it's going to have a uh, basically if this thing does sink and the possibility of it going down it will have a buoy system that will 
have like a couple, maybe uh, a couple of buoys that will basically eject out of the boat once it flips back up and then it's going to uh, basically release these buoys that are going to be attached to a string which will basically you know keep the boat at least give it some buoyancy and I think we're going to have one in the stern and one in the bow which is what this compartment here at the front's for that way there if it does sink you know this pops off hatch pops up the buoy pops out and then it rises to the surface and it's going to have a little um, sort of a little flag or something on it that at least that's the general idea or something on it that will kind of say you know hey you look I'm right here come get me sort of deal then you can go recover it you know I mean even with like a lot of money worth of servos and stuff I mean, this, the stern compartment, or one of the compartments, is going to be completely sealed. Like the par compartment that has all your important things, which will basically be in the middle. So this here compartment will be completely sealed off. And I mean, it's, I'm thinking about having like a little top on it that's going to have a, um, a rubber. So I mean, if it does sink, this compartment will be airtight that's going to have, you know, all the important equipment inside. I know it kind of looks funny to look green on the inside. It does look actually neat because it's... Yeah, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just... I do know what I'm doing. That's a lie. I know what I'm doing. Oh, excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. Yeah, I know. I'm just kind of just slopping the paint everywhere. And I know it's kind of a strange thing to do, especially on a boat. But this is... This is a cheap way of uh, waterproofing these bulkheads. And you know, with the paint, you can put some stuff on it. Looks like I. Oh no, I have. I have paint coming through. And the thing is, it's, it's fun to build these things. I mean, I love building boats. I haven't built a boat in a long time. This is kind of a fun little project. Right, it's going to be a, a three-masted schooner. I don't really have a name for it. I think I might just call it the Queen Anne's Revenge or something like that. Or uh, some kind of name. I don't know. I'm not sure what to name it. Actually, honestly, you can see in there, you know, kind of giving it a nice paint job. Duct tape's kind of fun. Duct tape's hard to paint because paint doesn't stick to duct tape. That's why I'm going to fiberglass it. And then I'm going to like go along, do some more bulkheads. I'm going to do some short bulkheads and then in the stern. Like these are full height bulkheads that go right up to the deck. So if this thing does capsize and go under, it's going to take a while for it to go down. Or if I hit something like a rock up here, or something sharp punctures the hull, you know, then, then one bulkhead will flood. And this thing's kind of designed so that way, you know, if one or two bulkheads flood, it would stay afloat. You know, depending on how much waves are there. But it, it's, it's designed to be recoverable. So, I mean, even if it does sink, all the uh, important stuff is going to be basically in the motor is going to be here you're going to have your controls whatever in here your servos and this is going to be the important section so that's going to be like completely sealed off so basically everything from here to here is going to be watertight sort of deal I mean that's going to hold a lot of air but also it's going to hold a lot of weight but I mean you know you got this is more like for crashes or flooding because you know, this bulkhead fills up, then you okay, you can keep going. Or if, like, you know, little water gets in here, here, or maybe in like one of these. These are all going to be basically bulkheads. Um, the reason I have it kind of like this is, this is more of your damage zone. 
I think I might have it so there's another bulkhead that goes across here so it divides this up in almost like three watertight sections so that way you know and of course you know balance and stuff there's gonna be a smaller bulkhead which will be about half the size so that way you know if something were to puncture the hull into here say hit it hits a rocket at a fast speed and the uh, fiberglass you know punctures it or it gets stuck on a rock and you know it's quite, quite wavy and windy and you know it does enough damage that it punctures through then it's gonna you know it's not going to flood through the other way and that's gonna be it but you know it, it, it can happen I mean not saying that it won't I mean this thing may never have those problems but I've had a boat that have gotten stuck and it just literally kept banging on the rocks and it was out for like 12 hours or even overnight and went and got it the next day and you know there was holes in it but she, she stayed and the bulkheads held because as long as the bulkheads are you know pretty watertight and you know it's basically all it's like is just stopping the water from going anywhere else I mean, you know they're, they're basically flood compartments of course if I decide to sink it then you know which would not be fun but yeah it's, it's going to be a good little boat it's a fun little project to do looks like I got I made a mess here you know it doesn't seem to be any leaks coming through it on the other side that's just paint but you know there, there's no leaks going through so the taping job and of course the tapes duct tapes kind of cool so then I'm gonna tape all this but I'm gonna add another bulkhead here then then I'm gonna add like there's gonna be two bulkheads in here like at the front there's gonna be a small one and this is where the rudder assembly is gonna go is on this I don't even know if I'm gonna put a bulkhead here because of where the rudder has to be I mean that's the rudder there and I'm going to have like the keel go under a little more. It's going to kind of go back and then come back to here and then and stuff. It's not going to have the keel or the rudder. The keel is not going to be one of those drop keels. So it will have weight that will compensate for... Oh, excuse me. So I could have like a motor or something like that. But I am going to need some kind of propulsion, you know. And it's going to be a battery backup, say if it gets stuck then I can back it out, turn it around, and then get it going into the wind again. I mean the motor, I find motors on these things, like it's the batteries that weigh a lot. You know, like have something like 15 AA batteries in the thing just to power the motors. Of course there's going to be, you're going to have batteries to power your servos and your um, you know for your sails because it's going to have jibs and stuff you know it's, it's and this year it's going to be at least maybe the mass the tallest mass is going to be maybe at least two feet almost three and that's going to hold the big sails so it's going to be decked out like a schooner it's going to it's going to have some speed to it and it's going to look good um the rudder's going to be one thing that's going to be servos. So it's going to be able to go left or right. I think I'm going to get like a four channel control. Because then I'm going to have rudders and then I'm going to have um, maybe something that will turn on the lights. For, you know, just, just for effects basically. Turn on the cabin lights. And then of course the solar panel idea is just going to help keep power regulated and then um, yeah so the boat's looking good so as you can see here you just give you guys a look it's kinda nice it's it's light and weight right now this thing is under a pound when you think about it I mean duct tapes pretty light if I were to sit this in the bathtub 
as it is, it would be it would stay afloat, and it would probably the water line would probably be up about here. But I kind of want the water line sort of at this point, which you know, seventy like twenty five percent of the boat should be in the water. So I've got to have enough uh, have it in the water enough so that way the rudder. But the rudder is going to be a deep deep rudder, so it's going to go down a little bit. And where the this boat's built differently, and I'm just going to use a standard door hinge for the rudder, and then it's going to be a I think glued on, or I might even have the rudder duct taped. I think the duct tape rudder might be a better idea because then. You know, it's easy to replace and you know servos are pretty strong so you know, there's going to be lots of freedom I could just buy a rudder and then it's going to have a a single prop propeller that's going to just give it a little power you know, just enough to back it out slowly and then you know turn it around and whatnot and all that sort of fun stuff. So anyway, that that's the model boat project. I'm, I'm gonna do some more work on it, and then uh, yeah, then I'll talk to you guys later. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask, and uh, I'll post more videos as this project continues. So anyway, folks, uh, take care and have fun, and don't eat chicken.